Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. It is mid-June of 2024. Um, a complaint here on a home with a basement. We came over and it had two circuits for the whole basement. That's a huge living room, dining room area, kitchenette, bathroom, bedroom, hallway. Uh, two circuits, one for lighting, one for plugs. Done probably 20 years ago. Definitely could tell, probably did not have a permit. Um, so I just wanna explain to you what we did. So if you're going to put a baseboard heater in a bathroom, you can. You usually need to maintain about 36 inches from the shower. You can do a unistat on it. And then if you have a plug, any plug in the bathroom that's plug-in has to be GFI. This is a dedicated circuit because this, this receptacle that they have right here is part of all the other plugs in the basement. That doesn't work. So she can do her hair dryer here. Um, but if you have any GF, any plugs above a baseboard heater that's electric, not radiant, you cannot have them directly above it. Okay, so we installed that. It was very fortunate. The panel's right outside here in the garage, able to drop down the three-quarter flex MC cable, screw this to a cement wall, put in a piece of PVC just to protect our NM cable, come up here to the base heat, and then a 120 plug on the other one over there, those two yellows we fished down the wall. On this wall here, we went into the kitchen with a 1222, which is a black, red, white, blue, and a ground. So two circuits in there. And we use the black and white for the kitchen outlets and the red and black as a kitchen outlets and re-taped it as a white. Did another 12222 right here and did a plug here and came in through here and went into this area. So all of it, there was no damage. Everything was surface mounted out inside of here. Very, very fortunate. Um, put a six foot base heater here with the Unistat. And then another plug. And so we got to get two dedicated plugs right here for her. And then fished through this back wall. We had 10 inches of back wall to fish. And, Brought in that MC cable into this and then an NM cable over to here. So this is a dedicated circuit for these four, dedicated circuit for those four. They had this GFI right in here, part of all the outlets as well. They had like 20 outlets on one circuit. You can't do that. So now the kitchenette is technically with the sink, has two dedicated 20 amp circuits. Then we put this MC cable in right here. And that MC cable is screwed to that wall down to a box. So there's really no damage that we had whatsoever. Keep in mind guys, if you're gonna have any type of lighting, which they had a loose connection on this, but these strobe, if you put any type of lighting circuit with your tankless water heater, it will do that. The high frequency of the motor will cause anything like that to strobe, especially LED. So this was already done a long time ago. We might have to figure out how to fix that later, but we did do a motion light for them. So when she opens the door, it turns on instead of a pull chain. Plus she doesn't need to hit her head on some plastic or, or glass bulb. So yeah, we ended up putting in two, one circuit, two circuit, three circuits at 120 volt, and then a dedicated 20 or 240 volt circuit here for six foot heater, and then a three foot heater. And then we were able to put in a surge protector right here as well. So this basement, like all basements we do here, we always pull a panel downstairs and put a surge protector. And this is just a main shut off here for the whole entire area of what we turned on, put on. And we have our dual function circuits for the kitchen, AFCI and GFCI, and then GFCI, the plugs that are in the bathroom and out there by the nook. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully to help you out, but normally we do have to end up cutting up all the walls, but it turned out really good. And um, yeah, by the way, so that little light thing that's flashing is definitely a part of this circuit. So I would never put my lighting on with this, but might have to address that later. All right, guys, have a good day.